it has its moments. You know, it, it's funny at times, but the way it ends, it's like something is missing. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I've been talking about the new movie, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. I know it's a long title. It stars Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall. He plays Lee Curtis Childs. He's a pastor. She plays Trinity Childs. She's the first lady of this mega church. I'm talking about this church is out of control. They have a gym. They have a fountain. They have a separate pool to baptize people in. It, it's crazy. Uh, it starts off with a lot of like flashback footage of him giving these sermons. And it's the type of preacher you've seen before on TV and mega churches. Or if you've been to black churches, you know dress real nice, give these great sermons, get people hyped, but it's, you know, a little flashy, you know, likes to flaunt, you know, what he has. Uh, and they also show that they give back to the community. So, you know, they, they care about the community and they have a thousand people that come to their church all the time. Then the scandal hits. At first, we don't know what type of scandal it is. You just see the cameras. Oh, huge scandal hits this church with this long name that I don't remember. And then the con congregation kind of dwindles down and they go to like this other church, this rival church who like accepts all of them and is expanding on their own. That's like a the side story to this particular movie. So they decide to hire a film crew to, you know, show their 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 return you know, for Easter, you know, their resurrection for Easter Sunday to bring back the congregation that left. They do have a, a faithful five people. And we see them and they, they talk on camera, you know, being interviewed. It, it, it's kind of like The Office or like Abbott Elementary, the way it's shot, you know, the way that people talk to the camera. The congregation is funny. I wish we spent a little bit more time with them, especially like the young girl that's in it. She gets like a little a little scene focused on her. And it's funny. It's hilarious. Like there are parts of the movie because it's played like a comedy where it's it's laugh out loud funny because I've been to a lot of churches like this where just... The things that they're doing and saying, it, it's hilarious. It's just right on the nose. Other moments, a little cringeworthy when he's dancing and stuff. It just try, it's the guy in the church who's older, but when he talks to the, the younger people, he tries to talk a certain way and be cool and hip and use lingo and stuff like that. So those moments are a little, hmm, doesn't work for me. Uh, and when you finally learn more about the situation and the scandal, you you see that it's like, it's, it's asking the question, like, how much power should one person have, especially in the church, you know, as the pastor? How much power should they have? And, you know, they get the respect around the community because they're doing nice things and they're preaching the word of God. And, you know, they're given the benefit of the doubt a lot of the times, you know, and that can be a dangerous thing. Uh, it also asks the question, like, yeah, the Bible it tells you to do certain things. It gives you like a, a rule, like, oh, you, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't question that. But Trinity, the, the first lady, you can see she's having those moments where she's questioning, like, why am I still here? Because when we learn about the scandal and stuff, it's it's pretty bad stuff. But in the beginning, it's like she's doing anything to support her husband. You know, we, we're going to get this congregation back. Although she just wants to be on stage so people can see her. Then you have moments where she, she's not feeling it anymore because he's asking her to do ridiculous things or he's coming up with ridiculous ideas and she's just like, mm, I, I don't know. And she snaps at a point and, you know, she has that moment where it's like, I don't know if my marriage is going to work. But then it's another character we meet and it's like, why are you acting like that? You know, God said this and, you know, you came this far on his back and you should stay by him. But it's like, it's not a situation where... Okay, yeah, that is important. We we live in this big fancy house with all these cars and everything, but what about me and my well-being and what this is doing to me mentally, and, you know, and physically like that, you know, it's, it kind of, it just glosses over that, you know, it throws it in, out there, but it just, it doesn't go into it into detail. And that's where like the movie falters with me because you have all this, you know, the cameras and all the interviews and it seems like, Lee Curtis is trying to convince himself and the audience that he's a changed person uh, coming up with this sermon for Easter to bring people back. And it's all about me. It's all about him. It's not really, it's, 
you know, little God here and there, but it's, he wants that love and that affection and that power that comes with being a, the pastor of a mega church that's done a lot. And he has all these cars and everything like that. So it, but when it ends, it's like, did he learn anything? Did they learn anything? It just kind of goes off. And I'm like, I could have used a little something, you know, there's a, there's an incident towards the end, but it's like, he still doesn't, he doesn't get it. It's like, he doesn't understand. And I, I, I guess that's how they wanted to end it. But I, I could have used something where there's really some type of change, you know, in the characters, but you don't really get that. You get, you get the pettiness though, of, you know, pastors, you know, dealing with other pastors and, and church folk talking to you, talking to each other, but they're real petty about it and really sarcastic. It's it's funny because I've seen it before in church. Uh, you know, so those moments, especially if you went to church, they will probably be funnier to you than to others. But it, I would say go check it out. Go check it out in the theaters, you know, with other people to, you know, see who laughs at what, you know, to see the experiences you have. But it's not like a great movie. It's okay. I would say that. But if you watched it, those are just my thoughts. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Deuces. Yeah.